Environmentalist community leaders and residents held a rally in March in Philadelphia on Saturday to remember the 47 people who died in an oil train derailment in Canada two years ago and to demand protection from the dangerous oil trains that travel through Philadelphia neighborhoods each day. Welcome to the Schuylkill River Trails Park, the site of where two to three oil trains pass by every day. We're here today to commemorate a terrible loss, the loss of 47 lives in Lac Megantique, Quebec, Canada, as a result of an oil train derailment that ran into a town, blew it up, and killed 47 people. And we're here in solidarity with communities, cities, farms across the United States and Canada in a national week of action. That week of action is calling everyone's attention to the danger and the clear and present danger of these oil trains that go through the communities across our nation. Here in Philadelphia, these oil trains travel down to Philadelphia Energy Solutions and Enbridge and the other refineries, and they're carrying a highly volatile explosive fuel in tank cars that are substandard that tend to explode and that do explode upon impact. Here in Philadelphia, many, many people, tens of thousands of people would not be able to even get away, and hundreds of thousands of people would be directly impacted, their health and their very lives, should we have the kind of derailment that occurred in Lac Megantique happen here in Philadelphia, and yet it, it is a very real possibility. As a matter of fact, with the 119 incidents that have happened in the last three years, and the oil train derailments, 35 of them huge, and the four that happened even this year, it's not even a matter of if it's going to happen in Philadelphia, it's a matter of when. The community of West Pashunk ex extends from 18th Street to 25th Street, Pashunk Ave to Mifflin, most of which is within a half mile of crude oil train routes. In my time as president, I have spoken with many residents of both West Pashunk and Wilson Park, a community adjacent to us west of 25th Street. Many of these residents have expressed concern regarding not just the crumbling elevated railway along 25th Street, but also the increase in the number of trains rolling through our community. Current estimates put that number at 50 to 80 trains per week, increasing our vulnerability and putting us at a greater risk of catastrophe. We can only assume that this number will continue to increase as Philadelphia Energy Solutions plans to expand its operations. What is being done to protect our vulnerable communities? I'm here today to demand that much more be done, both at the local and federal level. What is being done to inform our vulnerable communities? Sorry. I'm here to demand emergency response workshops for communities along the tracks. We need to be informed of what is being transported through our communities, at what rate, and what the response plan is in case of a catastrophe. We are the most vulnerable, yet we are the most uninformed. Oil trains, it's just a question of time before they jump the track or fall off a bridge and destroy a piece of Philadelphia. The problem is, is that the class one railroads made $50 billion last year and they don't want to part with the $50 billion. It's all about the money If and our government regulators are just as bad as the class one railroads because you know what you want to do as a government regulator? You want to regulate for a little bit, then you want to go work for the class one railroads and make three times your salary. So what? So why you think about that job across the river making three times your salary you're not talking about protecting the people of philadelphia so what what we need is a broad coalition of people to force the government regulators to force the class one railroads to maybe only make 40 billion dollars next year and put 10 billion dollars into the infrastructure and the tank cars and help protect the people of philadelphia from these exploiting bombs thank you brother the oil bomb trains are nothing but health hazards at every stage when they idle, they emit fumes going along this trail where people play, walk their dogs, um, run with their friends, take their children. They live right here along this trail, myself included. When, when, they, when these trains course through the city, 
I have spoken to residents where at every point they have been fearful of the devastation of the risk that these can cause. And the town of Lac Megantic at this point offers us a bleak view of what will happen to our city if such an explosion were to happen. It will be toxic, it will be irreparable. But here in Philadelphia, we have a pivotal role and we have a pivotal role in not just changing the course of this city, but possibly the whole human race. This moment in history is very important. Our role is to choose between Philadelphia as the polluting gateway for more oil and gas perpetuation or Philadelphia as the green and healthy energy hub. You know, I'm a neighbor. I, I love this neighborhood. It's an absolutely fabulous neighborhood. Uh, but at times, maybe more often than not now, I feel unsafe. Um, and I feel unsafe because of the oil trains that go right past, right, right past our doorway uh, on a continuing basis. Many times there's, there's oil trains, 100 car plus oil trains sitting right here, right here, right on the tracks with the gates closed and uh, you know, the engines idling and the fumes Coming, coming out, polluting the neighborhood. Right here, next to Tanny Park, with all the, the kids playing here, the dog park, the, the Schuylkill River Park here, and all the residents that are in the, in, in the area here. What I'd like to ask is that um, we've been in contact with Bob Casey, the se senator in, in Pennsylvania here. Bob has a petition along with several other uh, senators in, um, in Oregon He's sponsoring a position. He, he understands that the new regulations for the safety of the oil trains and, and, the, and the conversion to the new safer ones is not anywhere near adequate. And um, if, if you Google, okay, uh, hold on one second, I got to get this right. Get, oil, get unsafe oil trains off the tracks. His petition will come up. I just ask you in leaving to do that when you get home and uh, sign the petition and let everyone else in your neighborhood here know about that also so we can, uh, again, build support for our position here. Again. After watching our own community passenger rail disaster, for whatever reason, we now know the expected can happen. In an instant, the 188 Amtrak incident is enough to create a sense of urgency. The Amtrak engine skidded to a halt only feet away from the DOT 111. We urge a sturdier tank manufactured by the oil industry, but it must take action and we must take action now. The city must initiate an evacuation plan regarding South Philadelphia I urge you, the general public, within the sound of our voices, to petition the White House. Kathy Clouseau, 24. Remember. Elodie Turcotte, 18. Remember. Yannick Bouchard, 36. Remember. Marie Semi Alliance and Jimmy Sirwa lived across the street from the music cafe with their 18-month-old daughter, Miliana. That night, they left baby Miliana with Jimmy's mother 27 miles south because the heat was stifling in their small apartment. The tragedy leaves their child orphaned. Marie Semi Alliance and Jimmy Sirwa. Amen.